Our fox is not a fox without movable limbs and the tail. So we're going to start creating new lattices to wrap around the artwork and connect to the rest of our skeletal structure. To begin with, I'll select the limb that I want to start on. This will be my right, nope, this is left. This is my left front paw. What I'm going to do is just take my cursor and click right around the middle of that object to place my new lattice. Choose Add. You've already done this once before. This is a review. Add Lattice. Hit S on the keyboard. Shrink it down. And we'll choose S and then Z to scale it vertically. S and then X to scale horizontally. S and then Z to scale vertically. You get the idea. G and then Z to move it vertically. G and then X to move it horizontally. Yeah, yeah, you get it. You get it. I know. All right, now we need to increase the resolution of this object. Otherwise, our limb is just going to go out like a pogo stick or a baseball bat or a, a wooden leg. Everyone knows that foxes don't have wooden legs. So we'll click on the lattice tab with our lattice selected. And we're going to change the resolution. You don't want to get too crazy with it. You want to kind of divide it up within the number of bones that you have in that system there. So I have two bones, and I can see that by increasing the resolution to five, I have two squares that encompass that one bone, and two other squares that encompass the other bone. So this is where the joint will be. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. Lattice, done. Now I just have to create the vertex groups to match the number of bones. Not a difficult concept. There's two bones, that means there's two vertex groups. Remember how we named our bones in our armature? Well, pretty simply, really. But, just in case you forgot, you can always click on the armature. You can select it in the right hand layers menu or make sure you click directly on the armature so it turns orange right in your scene. And we can either go into pose mode or edit mode. Pose mode is probably the easiest way to select and view your bones. So when I click on those bones and choose the bone properties tab, it will tell me what bone I have selected. This is front leg left. I'm going to copy that name. I'm going to switch back into object mode so that I can select my lattice. I'll click on the object data properties tab with the lattice icon. And I'm going to rename that first group the same name as the bone. This is where that naming convention comes in handy. I'm going to click on the second vertex group. And I'm going to paste that name. And when I hit return, it's going to be called 0 .001, exactly the same as the second bone in that hierarchy. So you don't have to worry about naming conventions. We need to attach our lattice work to our armature, our skeletal system. We'll do that with a modifier. Select Modifier Properties, Add Modifier, choose Armature, and then let's select our Fox Armature. Now our lattice is connected to our armature. Not enough! We now need to select the vertices and pair them with the individual bones. It's not enough to have our, our armature, which is this entire skeletal system, connected to this one lattice box. We need to select the specific bones. Like we did with the head, I've selected the lattice work and gone into edit mode so that I can see the vertices to connect to the individual bones. Once in edit mode, 
I can choose B on the keyboard and just drag around those vertices that I want to connect to that bone. So this is for the upper bone. So I've dragged around all the top vertices. I'm going to select my Object Data Properties tab. And I'm going to assign those vertices to the top bone, which is front leg L. Click Assign. Now, if I only have two bones in this system, I can easily just go up here and select Invert. That will select only the other remaining vertices. It will deselect the previous ones that I had. And I'll click on front leg L001. That's the second bone. And click Assign. We've got our lattice work attached to these specific bones within our armature. Amazing. Let's click on the artwork. Easy. Add modifier. Remember, we're selecting a lattice to attach the artwork to. Click on lattice and then select the lattice that we're using for that leg. Maybe you forgot to name the lattice. Click on the lattice in object mode and rename it. And I'm going to choose lattice front leg left 001. What's going to happen when I click that? Oh, my artwork actually moved to the shape of the armature. That's how I know it worked. Let's test this out. Click on our armature. Click into pose mode. Select a bone. Move it around using G. Look at that. That is crazy cool. Now I can move each individual bone just by clicking G, clicking the armature, clicking the bone within the armature, and then clicking G to move that bone around. It will rotate. It will not move because it is actually part of a skeletal system. Now this is referred to as forward kinematics. I can create all of the rest of these limbs. I can create lattices for all of the rest of these limbs and attach them to the armature as we just did for these two pieces. And I can just move my creature. You can see that these ones are not attached yet. I can just move my individual limbs progressively within my timeline with keyframes to make an animation. So we've already increased our production level with this. We've already increased our efficiency. Let's take it a step further and move into inverse kinematics.